what's happening, people? It's official. The league's over. Look at the number one spot. Got the big C next to it. Champions. 99 points. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know what? We've known since January that we're going to win this title. So it's been not an anti-climax, but cold. no, I'm just happy that the season was able to finish for me. Um, I'm just happy that, it, you know, all this nonsense talk before Asterix title, um, just pure nonsense, you know, from all the rival fans. I'm just glad we finished it legitimately. We got 99 points. That's an improvement from last year. Last year we got 97 points. This year we won the title and 99 points. And to be fair with you, had COVID not come in place, we would have beaten the 100 points um, marker. We would have, we, would have, we would have taken that. But you know what? Just for the sake, just for the fact that we we completed the, the whole thing, Operation Restart. You know that's a blessing within within itself. Number nineteen is is there. It's parked up. It's in the trophy cabinet. It's done. No more nonsense talk from these Arsenal fans, Man United fans, Chelsea fans. It's a wrap. None of you can talk. And you know what's even better is to 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 go into the final game of the season, and you're watching Man United and Chelsea slugging it out to try and get into the Champions League. They got there in the end, which yeah. I wish none of them made it, to be honest. <laughs> I wish none of them. Can't stand them teams. But anyway, I'm going to save that for another post. But just a quick roundup of this season. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to chop. I'm going to do a review of the season, but I'm going to, I'm going to chop it up over, over the next couple of weeks because we've got a lot of time. We've got a lot of time before the season restarts. So there's no need to rush it today. I'm just going to do a little whistle stop of my review of the season in terms of if you look at last season we won the Champions League and we got 97 points then this season starts we get the Super Cup the World Club Championship and then we win the Premier League with games to spare and we have 99 points really we should have at least 102 that Burnley game pisses me off immensely that Burnley game and that Arsenal game the Arsenal game, because I haven't posted since then. The Arsenal game gave the game away. The Man City game, you can't really, can't really process that. That that was that was like won the title. Yeah, there was not the, the defeats we've had this season. I don't really care about them to be honest with you, because when I look at it, Watford got relegated, and we just didn't show up in that game. You know what I mean? Watford done, Watford done, you done well that game, but really we didn't show up. Um, if you look at the Man City game, again, we just win the title, probably were out drinking the night before, come down, and that's the wrong team to do that against. And then the Arsenal game, sorry, signs of my the Arsenal game, we gave them the two goals. Other than that, we peppered them. So, yeah, the defeats that we had this season, I'm not too, I'm not too fussed about them. Got to 99 points, wish we broke the 100-point barrier, but who cares about that record? Um, what I will say, is that these Gunners fans, right? And I know, you know what? I know a lot of my recent videos, I mean, I've been going for them. And I've been going for them because they're the ones that have just been running up their mouth through the pandemic. And they're not even in a position to be talking, right? But I'm going to I'm gonna address the Arsenal fans in a, in a separate video. But all I want to say is this. You mans and this Invincibles, right? You look and you look and I, I don't care. I don't think I don't think anybody. To be fair with you, I don't think anybody cares about the Invincibles apart from Arsenal fans. I don't think no one cares. Like, listen, you look did the league unbeaten, no problem. You had twelve draws. I don't care. I was listening to um, I was watching um AFTV and you got like um man like DT and them lot on there. And it's so passionate about, yeah, you do it. You do it if you can um, see if you can go through the season unbeaten. Who cares, man? The trophies at the end is what can I don't, listen, I don't hear no one in Europe talking about the Invincibles. Like, I don't hear no one talking about, oh, my God. Do you remember that Arsenal that um, won the league unbeaten? 
You ain't got no European Cups. Who cares? You know what I mean? But anyway, I digress. <laughs> I digress. You look at... We, we didn't even play. What I would say is, Klopp this season, you know why he's a G? Because this season he was pragmatic. We blatantly played better football last season. We played better football last season. And what Klopp looked at was like, you know what? This season, we lost by one point last season. This season is about getting the results, however we get them, to be a, and be ahead of Man City. And that was it. And he just made sure that when we needed to get the results over the line, we did. Salah hasn't played blinding all season. The only player that was consistent this season, do you know what? Jordan Henderson got player of the year, and I'll talk about that later. Jordan Henderson got player of the year. But Sadio Mane, to me, was our best player this season. He's the only player that was consistent all the way through. His levels didn't drop. His level, if you watch all the games that we had, and, and, and don't get it twisted, Mane missed a couple of sitters this season um, in certain games. But when I'm talking about pressuring um, the defence and doing the job that you're supposed to do, Mane turned up. I, I don't remember Mane having a bad game this season. I don't remember having a bad game. And it's funny because Salah still gets the numbers up. But Salah has a lot of missed games too. He does a lot of contribution. But there's certain games that Salah doesn't square it when he should. And he's taking shots and he shouldn't be taking those shots. And yeah, I know you've got the numbers. But I'm just saying, Mane, I think, has always been uh, a 7 to 10 out of 10 performance every week. He's steadily in that zone. Um, but they gave it to Henderson. Henderson, don't get it twisted. Um, I'm happy that he won the player of the year. I'm ecstatic for him. But my, my player this season would, would be Mane. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's subjective. End of the day, we still won it. <laughs> we won it. And we ain't even celebrated yet. Do you know what? When the parade comes, I'm in Liverpool. I just need, I'm looking out for this date. Um, obviously, we've got to wait for coronavirus to disappear. But this is... This is potentially the best title win ever. You know why? Because we survived the pandemic. We've been crowned champions, like officially, when um, Chelsea beat Man City. We then got another chance to lift, to officially lift the trophy and celebrate again, which the players did, and we we celebrate at home. But then we get another opportunity to celebrate with the team later on. Going into the next season. We actually get to party. In the next season. No one's been able to do that. No one has ever done that. So it's a special title to me. It, it seems a bit effed right now. But it's a special title to me man. I can't wait to go up to Liverpool. And just yeah. That's going to be tough man. But overall you've got to look at it. Let's look at the stats. 32 wins. Out of 38. And really, we gave away some games near the end, right? But 32 wins. 32 wins. And the Invincibles want to talk up. Anyway, I'm going to light them up in another video anyway. But anyway, right? 85 goals scored. All right, Man City got 100 goals again. <laughs> Damn, Man City are like a machine, man. Conceded 33 goals. Goal difference was plus 32. 99 points. What more can you say, man? What more can you say to that? And we can, and do, and do you know what's crazy? We can do better next season. We can actually do better because I believe we could have won every game. The law of averages, you, no one can probably do that. But I, I feel we could have won every game this season. I really do. Nobody, nobody played us off the park this season. No one. I think we could have, and we beat everyone. Yeah, we beat everyone this season. There's so many records that we smashed this season, man. And we weren't even as good as last season. How mad is that? How mad is that? Anyway, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to some other sub subjects. Yeah. So in terms of Liverpool season, I'm gonna give us. Well, it's got to be ten out of ten, isn't it? It's got to be ten out of ten because we 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 we, we did it. We did it. Thirty years. Bam. Done. Done. Yeah. So, yeah. And yeah, by the way, 
I know I haven't posted a lot recently, but it's yeah, literally I've got a eight week <laughs> year old and it is hard to post man. Like look when you've got a newborn, you know what I mean? Number three in terms of my my family. I've got two older ones as well. So juggling all the all the family stuff and then trying to post it's just not it's not happening in the moment. You know what I mean? So when I can jump on I'm gonna jump on Man ain't disappeared, I'm here. But it's like when when I can get a quiet house just to do you know, just to update you on what's going on or just to talk about what's happening. That ain't been happening recently, man. Trust me, man. It's like literally feeding a baby, rocking the baby to sleep. You know what I mean? It's uh man, man's wounded. But yeah. So you'll see me, you still see me every now and again on here. I just stick with it, man. You know what I mean? Appreciate everyone who subscribed. Do me a favor, hit the like button if you get a chance. It's free. And tell your friends, man. I need more subscribers for the channel, man. 205, I've got to think I'm at the moment. Need to try and push it to 300. Um, if I can get to 300 by the end of August, that'd be live, man. That's it. I know there's, I know there's oh, oh, millions of Liverpool fans out there. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm out for this one. Peace.